The cow was made with a bucket, as you would see it in a filling milking station in the barn. The bucket goes under the cow's udders on top of another bucket, which is really a reservoir. that is made to hold water and also holds two, a pump and a float leveler to bring water through the leg into the reservoir that's up in the udder. The cow actually comes sealed looking like this. If you ever have to open up the cow to get into the udder, you take, you undo the screw that's right here, and this will come out. And the upper reservoir is visible to fix or see what's wrong. Okay, now let's go back to the lower reservoir that holds the water that feeds the udders through the sump pump that once again goes through the legs into the upper reservoir. The lower reservoir has a sump pump and a float cut off so, uh, switch so that it would not have too much water and if it needs m more water the sump pump will be sent up to the upper reservoir. What we have to show you is a simplification of what we felt was a little complex in the system to make this thing work on automatic. So we have a switch on the inside that goes under the bucket. When that switch is on on mode. We are now in a manual mode so the bucket, this one has nothing in it but you could see the sump pump and you can see the float switch. It's on the manual mode so you don't have to worry about anything except you press this button and you will hear the sump pump go on. which will then refill the upper reservoir so that uh, you don't have to worry about how much water is in there or anything else. If, not, if it doesn't fill up, then you know you have to add water. It's as simple as that. And just by releasing this, it will turn off the sump pump and there's no chance of burning.